Hi everyone, I'm Sam Gleaves at Hyman Settlement School. I've got a lesson here in tuning the fiddle for our pick and bow after school music students. Let's look at the fiddle here. This is the peg head and the scroll. Uh, these are the pegs. You use the pegs when you need to make a big adjustment in tuning when the string is pretty far off from the note that you want to tune it to. And the pegs work the opposite of righty tighty lefty loosey like we're used to thinking about. So um, when I turn the peg clockwise, that lowers the pitch. Here, that's lower. And then when I turn the peg counterclockwise, it raises the pitch. There's it. So if I want to uh, loosen the string, I turn clockwise with the peg. If I want to tighten the string, I turn counterclockwise with the peg. Uh, it is easy to break a string if you use the pegs, so for beginners, it's easy to use the fine tuners, which are down here at the bottom. This is called the tailpiece. These are the fine tuners. And those little screws need to be extended. They need to be sticking out from the tailpiece there. If they're screwed all the way in, uh, flush with the tailpiece, they won't work. And these are for small adjustments in tuning. Uh, hopefully your fiddle only needs small adjustments. And so, if I want to use these, they work um, like we're, we're used to, the righty tighty lefty loosey. So, uh, clockwise tightens them, counterclockwise loosens them. So let's go over a little terminology here. So when I say that a note is flat, for our purposes, um, this is the symbol for flat, and if I say flat, I mean the, the note is lower in pitch than we want it to be. If I say the note is sharp, I mean that the note is higher in pitch that, than I want it to be. So if I'm saying a note is flat, I need to tighten my string to get it where I, to the note it needs to be. If I say a note is sharp, I need to loosen my string just a little bit to get it there. So, I've got a fiddle here that is in tune, or close to in tune here. So, this first string should be E, second string should be A, third string should be D, fourth string should be G. That's what they should sound like, those notes there, so listen again. First string E, second string A, third string D, fourth string G. You can tune by ear, but it takes a little while to learn to do that. So let's start out using an app here on the smartphone. This is Pano Tuner. It's a free app. You can download it and it's pretty easy to use. So I've got a fiddle here that's totally out of tune and I'm gonna play the first string. Now that is reading an F note. And you see how the E is over here to the right of center? This red line tells us where the note is actually tuned. Or where, what note the string is sounding on the red line. So if the note that I want, E for my first string, is to the right of the red line, that means I need to loosen the string. I need, that note is sharp, I need to loosen it a little bit. So I'm going to um, go down to my fine tuner and loosen it until E is right in the center. And that shows me a little green window and E is right in the middle of the red line. So the second string should be A. But it's reading closer to A flat. So flat means lower than I want it to be. So I want to tune that string up. The A is reading to the left of center. So I need to tighten that string a little bit. I'm going to tighten it down here with my fine tuner. And then I'll see the A note right there in the middle. And then the third string D. D is way over here, 
to the right of center. So I need to loosen that string a little bit. I'm going to loosen it with my fine tuner here at the bottom. Alright, so now I'm playing the third string and it's reading D. Perfect. Fourth string should be G. Now it is way down at D flat. That's really low. And I'm going to show you how far away that would be. So, if I'm looking at this musical alphabet here, the musical alphabet really runs from A to G and then it repeats itself. So it would go from A to G and then back to A and start again. So if my fiddle string was at D flat just now, that's right here, and I need to get to G, I'm going to the right. I'm going higher in pitch. So I need to tighten the string to get higher in pitch all the way to G there. Uh, and of course the opposite is true. So like say if the string was reading uh, B or something, I would need to tune it down to get to G there. So let's try to tune this one up here. I'm striking the fourth string. It's reading that D flat note. So I, I really need to tighten that string to get up to G, but I need to use my peg. So I'm going to tune it counterclockwise with the peg, tighten it up. And you, you just kind of have to press in on the peg a little bit while you tune it. And now it's reading G. Fourth string is pretty close to G there. So um, I hope that's helpful while you're learning to tune your fiddle at home. Uh, it is good to just tune to the sound. So I'm going to play you the, the four notes with the bow here and you can try to tune to the sound of the fiddle. This is the first string, E. So see if your string is higher or lower than that. First string E. And the second string should sound like this, A. Is your string higher or lower than that? Here's second string again, A. And the third string should be D. Do you hear if it's higher or lower in pitch than that? This is D, third string. The fourth string, lowest string should be G. Check and see if your string sounds higher or lower. So I hope that's helpful and I hope that you're playing your fiddle at home and I hope that I get to see you soon. Thank you for watching this lesson. Follow our channel for more video music lessons. You can find our channel on YouTube at Heinemann Settlement School Pick and Bow Music Program. The Pick and Bow After School Music Program is coordinated by the Traditional Arts Program at Heinemann Settlement School. This project is a component of the In These Mountains Central Appalachian Folk Arts and Culture Initiative and supported in part by a grant from South Arts, a nonprofit regional arts organization. Learn more at www.heinemann.org and www.southarts.org.